Well, Cubs fam, we have got some really intriguing news that just came across my phone. A big shout out to my buddy, uh, Kitchell, who sent this to me, a.k.a. Dolmite. I was actually laying down, getting ready to take a nap, had a long stream, thought I'd just relax, and he says, Yo, bro, look at the Capital Games job postings right now. Now, it looks like, ladies and gentlemen, over the last little bit, they have completely blown up their staff. Uh, potentially fired up to 16 people. Uh, we're going to look at that here in just a second, um, which there, there's a lot of uh, conclusions we could make from that. All of which I think are hopefully good, because to me it shows me that they, whoever is leading the studio, whoever it is, they are not okay with what has been happening at Capital Games. Makes me wonder if it has something to do with them taking the test counts away from the Game Changers. Maybe they really are rebooting because they're bringing in new people who may have new perspectives on how to work with content creators. Um, and that could bleed into a ton of other areas of the game. Do you want to call out? I have another video coming today, uh, so it'll be a three-video day. Yay! Full-time YouTube! Woo! I'll give you this a Babu freak here. You love it! The last video is gonna be a Disney uh, Sorcerer's Arena video. Uh, again, I've, I've said this before on the channel, but kind of the plan right now, because this game, in my opinion, is very exciting, very fun. I'm doing Galaxy of Heroes videos every morning, 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Monday through Friday. Um, and then afternoon videos will either be something like this, a news video, and a mix of Disney Sorcerer's Arena videos. So if you're not interested in that game, pass on the video. If you are, come watch it. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with that game. If anyone likes Disney and you like Galaxy of Heroes, I think it's pretty much a must play and I'm not getting sponsored to say that I just flat like the game all right let's talk about this so here are the job openings just look at this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen job positions at capital games are open right now now I've been to Capital Games before, and I've seen their studio. I know they've got a new studio now, um, but I've seen their team, and 16 people is a pretty good chunk of that team. I, I don't know exactly what their number is. I would guess they're somewhere around 100 developers or something like that, tops. So that's a pretty solid percentage of the team. But you want to look at also what are the titles here. Like Software Engineer Intern... Oh my gosh, they're getting a new intern. So, okay, obviously the intern really has nothing to do with this, but look at this. Senior game designer, technical artist, technical director for Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes in particular. Senior product manager, senior development director, experience design director, product manager, player life cycle. And that's an analytics. Senior quality analyst, lead product manager. Senior art director. They're firing the art department. They're getting the the art department. They they touted the art department. How much? Apparently, it wasn't enough. Game director, a producer. Who is that? Data scientist, data senior analyst, senior data engineer, and game designer. My friends, these positions are big. Uh, producer, game director in particular. Let's see who this is. This was posted on 3.9, so just a couple weeks ago. We're, let's see. What you'll do. Create and deliver a product vision, core pillars, business objectives, working with the team and studio leadership. Define the operational framework for the product development, including development pr processes. Oh my gosh, this is complicated. Drive the game's production execution. This is this is a big player at Capital Games that they've let go of. That they're now looking for someone new for. Sell the vision of the game across EA and our industry, including interviews, meetings with the press, partner companies, EA executives, etc. Do I count as press? Does that mean you want to meet with me in your job description? I probably don't count as press. <laughs> I'm going to say I do. <laughs> Come on. They need somebody with seven plus years as a product manager, game producer, game designer, leadership experience. Man. Oh, look. They've got free food over there. I didn't know that. That's nice. 
So anyway, this is a very big player over there. And they've got multiple locations. The Redwood City, Los Angeles. So it looks like they're going to be doing some traveling, etc. So that's that's a big player. Let's see. So let's see. What, what was another one? Another one. A lead product manager. That sounded pretty big. Looks like this one's been open a little bit longer. So this one's not quite as big of a deal as that other one. That that last one looked like a pretty big player. Define, design, manage key game features that further the overall st strategic vision of the product. So this is probably just a just a normal management position. Lead product manager, senior art director. Is this the head of the art department? Determine, process, and establish art vision. For mobile game using data-driven approach. Hmm. I don't know if that's the, the, the head of the art department. Senior art director sounds like maybe the head of the art department to me based on the title. Senior development director. Senior product manager. There's just, there's just a lot here. Um, game designer. Play the game and become an expert of the game. Everyone, go apply! How many of you guys are experts of the game? This could- this could be you. This could be you. <laughs> Create and tune content. CONTENT! Tune content! To create an accessible yet deep experience for players. Ooh, would you guys say that the- that the uh, Galactic Legends was a deep experience? Work with developers to ensure your content and features. There's that word content. Let's see here. I'm gonna control F that. Okay, so this is the role here. We got content, 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 content. That's uh, five iterations of content here on this role. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the content guy. <laughs> so that's that one. Anyway, I think you guys get the idea. Um, all of these seem like pretty important roles, but game director in particular, this, this one looks big to me. Um, it looks to me like they have done an overhaul here of their development team and I'm pretty happy to hear that frankly I don't want to I don't know individuals I don't I can never like when I get negative about this game Which there hasn't been a lot to be positive about lately, but when I look at um, You know Frustration with the studio. I don't know who to direct that at Right? So a lot of people will say, you know, they'll point a finger at Top Hat or before they point a finger at Carrie. I'm not personally going to point a finger at anyone because I don't know who's making the decisions. I might rib Mark Dickinson, uh, mostly because I just ha he never says anything and he's supposedly the studio head. So it's just kind of a meme at this point. But I don't know if it's his problem. I don't know if it's my problem. I don't know if it's Carrie's problem. I I, there's no individuals I know. And so for everyone who may have, it looks like a lot of people have probably lost jobs or left, I feel terrible that they're in that position. I'm not calling out individuals here, but to just see that there is a clear effort here, an overhaul, presumably, of staff, shows me that there, there may be somebody over at EA or Capital Games that recognizes there's a problem and that things are not flowing smoothly right now. And that is really dang refreshing to see on the docket, my friends. Because what we've been delivered for the last three, four months is just not, it's just not acceptable. I, I think a lot of you feel that way. And I know I, I've been ribbed in the comments for being too negative the last couple weeks. Fine. Um, I think I'm just reflecting the community sentiment right now. Honestly, I don't think that I'm even saying how I feel. I'm saying how you guys feel. Um, it is how I feel. But I, it's, it's... It's not about what I think. It's about what everybody thinks right now. And I, I just don't think anybody's really content. Free to play, pay to play, etc. And I think that the quality of products has been significantly lower than Capital Games is accustomed to giving us. And so it looks to me like that may be recognized. You guys speculate down in the comments below. What do you make of this? That's a lot of job positions. A lot that opened up recently, very recently this year and one in particular the game director that just seems like a big massive position uh big overhaul potentially over at capital games so anyway 
Fill up the comments below. What do you guys make of this? What do you think is uh, happening over at Capital Games? Do you think that this is good news? Um, if we, if they recognize this as a problem, then I'm assuming they're going to hire people that will help make it not a problem anymore. And so that's good news. That's good news. Hopefully. Optimism, ladies and gentlemen. So again, thanks for joining me for the video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Stay tuned. I got another video coming today about uh, Disney Sorcerer's Arena. I'll uh, probably post that after dinner time, uh, Pacific Standard Time. So around 6 or 7 Pacific Standard Time, somewhere around there. A little late night video for you guys to, um, you know, go cuddle up on the couch and watch with the kids. Disney Sorcerer's Arena, fun, fun game. All right, everyone. Thanks for joining. And as always, my brothers, don't forget. Woo!